if I'm not gonna make videos and watch anime, might as well just make videos on me watching anime. Welcome back to my channel. Two Year Eternity is such a breath of fresh air and sadness. It has a unique story that I really can't relate to any other animes I've seen. It's fucking good. Going into this, I heard what it was about, but with the description I heard, I might as well have just went into it blind, because I did not get whatever the hell the description was trying to tell me. What I heard is some powerful guy who can create things, you just described God, created an observer who watches humans. What? I'm trying to piece together what this is. Is this like a propaganda for like the Bible or something? I don't- I can't piece together what this is. I put the show off for like 10 episodes and goddamn, I'm glad I did because uh, binging this is way better than just waiting as with every good anime. So here's my description because I, I can describe things way more <laughs> clear. <laughs> Palpatine Jesus created a shape-shifting golf ball that has the power of the thing, just like, you know, less gross. SSGB takes on many forms and meets new people and learns more about them, and this is where the show shines a lot. The characters are so great to learn about, and they make the show. There is a main plot, like the main character needs to gain experience and power to fight these enemies called knockers who just wants to kill everything. That's cool and all, but the people he meets are way more interesting. The show is kind of like mini arcs in which he meets a group of characters and the story would conclude in about three to four episodes, so like the cast is gonna keep switching. Also, if you're going to watch this, I cannot stress this enough, skip the opening. Skip the opening. Nothing wrong with the song. It's great, actually. It's a really good song. But the visuals for the opening spoils everything. I do not know why. Like, I'm not kidding. It shows characters that are going to die and it hasn't even happened yet. I swear to God, I thought I was going to see the traitor from P5 if I kept watching the opening. When I'm feeling lonely, sad as I can be. Myself in uncharted island in an endless sea. Long what time no see. You! It was insane how much it was spoiling. Like, do you want me to watch your show? It's like one of those movie trailers that like show the entire movie in the trailer and you don't need to watch the movie. I do I don't know why they did the opening like that. I don't know why they, they spoiled so much. I know people who are going to die in this arc that I'm up to, and it hasn't happened yet. I Wow! Although the opening is like a big why, <laughs> the rest of the show is actually really, really good. And the music is second to none. It's really well orchestrated and it pulls the scenes together really hard. I think what makes an anime really good, or actually any type of TV show or movie really good, half of it is definitely goes to the orchestra or the composer. Music is super important when it comes to this sort of stuff and To Your Eternity delivers. <laughs> Don't watch the opening. Uh, to Your Attorney is definitely like a top three. It's a go, go go watch it. It's so it's so good. It's it it puts a smile on my face and tears in my eyes. But I guarantee you, you'll like it a lot. Uh, I haven't read the manga and I'm planning to do so once the um the anime ends. But like I'm kind of just slowly enjoying the ride. I'm just gonna wait until the anime is over and then I'll start reading the manga. But that is it. I probably will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully that's not in like a week or two. Uh. <laughs> I thought if I kept cracking mine, the glow stick will never stop glowing. And I did that again. It is 5.21 in the morning, and I think my house is haunted.